dogs are locked up this morning and they're gonna be locked up for the next few weeks, I think. Look at this mess. Because we found out last night that they have ringworm. Ringworm is highly contagious to dogs. They both have it and to humans. We don't seem to have it yet, but today we get to do a deep, thorough clean of the entire apartment and wash every surface, strip the bed and wash all that, wash all the clean sheets that we haven't folded yet, wash all our clothes, wash the dog beds, wash the floor mats, clean the carpet, clean the furniture, clean everything, and the dogs are gonna have to stay kenneled because they have to be kind of quarantined. We're gonna have to put them in different kennels, but right now we're washing dog beds and stuff. I have to go out and get some over-the-counter cream to put on the spots, and uh, yeah, this will be fun. Not what I had in mind today. My goal is to wrap all that stuff, and I'll probably try to do that today anyway. Oh, I forgot to show you something from yesterday. I got a couple of things from students. I got, mm -hmm, hold on, I got this gift card to Target, which definitely come in handy. I got this lovely card from a student and inside the card is a gift certificate, or not a gift certificate, an American Express card. That's nice too, I can use that anywhere. I can use it to go buy ringworm cream today. I also got this, that bag right there with that cool red jingle bell on it is full of homemade toffee, which is amazing. Toffee is one of my favorite things. So thanks kids. I love it. Okay, let's do the reflection question and the advent calendar and get those out of the way for today. And then we're gonna clean and hopefully wrap some presents too. So question today, what cool things did you create this year? Just like with last night's reflection question, I'm gonna make this quick YouTube videos. There you go. I also have my Christmas card and I'm almost finished with that, but I don't want to show it to you yet. I'll show it to you when it's done. I really like it. I think it turned out well. Kind of a sad card this year though, because Sebastian's on it as an angel. All right, let's do the advent calendar. Okay, we're looking for door 15, 15, there it is. That was easy to find today, not like yesterday's. All right, 15. Oh, we have a little tube. It's tiny, a tiny tube. And this is Lip balm, aha, uh -huh. I need some of that. Actually, I have some of, some of it, not this particular one. I have another Loxatin lip balm. I'll probably put this in a stocking because I always get a million lip balms and I use one for a long time. I don't think I've ever finished one in my life. So nice, I'll put that over there with all the others next to the tubes so it's organized. I've put them in separate cages. Baron has been crying because he wants to come out. Poor Baron. I need love, Mom, I need love. I'm sorry, Bear. I'm so sorry. I do love you. And Roxy over here has been very good. She's been a good sport. But we put them in separate cages to quarantine. Oh, poor Baron. I just heard back from the vet. I had sent her some photographs of uh, the spots that I think are ringworm. And she said she's not convinced it's ringworm and to put Neosporin on it. So I'm gonna, poor bear. I'm gonna go get some Neosporin and run a few more errands. Decided to go Christmassy today. I've still been carrying my green Teddy Blake bag. Just haven't changed it out, haven't really had time, but I at least changed out and uh, put this little red tassel on it so it's all red and green and Christmassy. I'm going into Texas Art Supply now. They've got a big Santa and tree up there. There's their sign, in case you're interested. Okay, I'm back in the car. All I got in Texas Art Supply are these two red envelopes that I'm gonna put some gift certificates in. Now I'm headed to probably Walgreens to get the Neosporin for the dogs and then I'm headed back home to keep cleaning and cook some stuff and wrap presents. Decided to go to Kroger instead of Walgreens because I need to get a couple things anyway and they have Neosporum. I'm at a different Kroger today. This one is in Montrose, which is where I went to high school. Christmas trees. And there's a Jack in the Box across the street. I like Jack in the Box, but I only get fast food a couple times a year. I like their spicy, crispy chicken sandwich and their french fries. Delicious. I'm 
on the aisle. Here's the Neosporin. I'm gonna find the Kroger brand one because it'll be a little bit cheaper. Also, I just passed an aisle and there was this lady with uh, short curly gray hair and I thought it was my grandmother. And my grandmother's been dead for a few years, so that was weird. I also need this. I had some mosquito bites recently and that'll help. Bluebell, yum. Okay, I need these things to make fudge. Sweetened condensed milk. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. Walnuts. We're at Buffalo Wild Wings. I got myself a burger. I ordered blue cheese, but it didn't come that way, but I'm gonna eat this anyway. And then the boyfriend got that monstrous thing. This is what the place looks like. They have projectors on the ceiling that they put on these screens that look like they're TV screens, but they're actually projections. It's an interesting place. <gasps> Who's that barking? Who is this? Look at those guys. They're out loose. They're not in quarantine anymore. <laughs> Hello, Roxy. Hi, honey. Because I was able to send photographs to the vet and she said it looks like bites, not ringworms. So we looked closer and it turns out Baron had ticks. And I didn't see any on Roxy, but she had some bites too, but I haven't seen any of that. So that's a lot easier than ringworm. And now we're still cleaning everything since we're in the process of it but I've never ever dealt with ticks before. So if y'all have any tips for ticks, I'd appreciate tick it. Tips. Tick tips. If you have any tick tips, we'd appreciate it. Just showing you wrapping stuff and things I'm working on here and I can't show that box because it has the address on it. But I just got an Amazon box I'm gonna open. All right, that means we do get to go to the dachshund party tomorrow. With, with the ringworm, they wouldn't have been able to go because it's so contagious, but um, we can take care of the ticks today and go to the party tomorrow, yay. Well, we're in the car, an unexpected trip, another dog emergency. While we were at lunch, Baron uh, ate two thirds of a 12 ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips, the ones that I bought for that fudge I showed you at the grocery store. So now, he's going to the vet. I gave him a tablespoon of um, hydrogen peroxide to try to induce vomiting. He wouldn't vomit. I waited 15 minutes, he didn't vomit, so I gave him another dose. Still hasn't vomited. So we're going to the emergency vet. Yay. He's like, I don't care, I get a ride in the car. You're gonna care when you get your stomach pumped, Baron. And I can't believe I did that. I left that chocolate out. I know better. But uh, I had just gotten home and was unpacking. We were talking about different things and doing stuff. And then we decided to go to lunch and we just left and I completely forgot that I'd left it on the counter. And it was on the island. So he jumped up on the couch and got it. And luckily there were two bags. He only ate one and he didn't get into the walnuts that were also sitting there. But yeah, I found a third a bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips on the couch. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's not having any symptoms. Um, but we need to get him there early and get it out of him. Well, Baron's vet visit is about over and uh, they were able to get him to vomit and he's not feeling so good right now, are you Baron? Nope. Well Baron, was that chocolate worth it? That turned out to be a $300 bag of chocolate, Baron. $300. I know it's mommy's fault because I left it there to tempt you. Maybe this will teach you a lesson. I doubt it. One of the good things is that since we ended up coming to the vet, we got some tick medicine. Turned out the preventative that they've been on doesn't cover ticks, which I didn't realize and didn't really care about, even if I had realized it, because in my whole life of having dogs in Houston, we've never had ticks. Even the vet said the same thing, that she hasn't heard of ticks in this area. Um, so we, we kept them and we're gonna bring them into her tomorrow. She was kind of fascinated to see them. But Baron is not feeling so good right now, with good reason. He had his, I don't know what they did. They didn't pump his stomach, but 
that they did induce the vomit and get all the chocolate out, and then they gave him some charcoal to help absorb any toxins. Poor Baron. I've never seen him like this. He looks like Roxy after her surgery. He's just all out of it. We're about to get on our elevator. Poor thing. He's just not moving at all. And he wants us to know that this terrible way that he feels uh -huh. is not because of the chocolate that he ate. Right. It's because of what they did afterward. Bet. Yeah. So he's learned nothing from his crime. <laughs> He's learned, next time, leave no evidence. And then let's see how she reacts. Hello, Vincent. Hi, Roxy. Hi, Roxy, baby. I'm gonna let you out now. You feel better? Go see Brother. Go see Brother, he doesn't feel good. Go see him make him feel better. Oh, Aww. Oh, right she wants to see him. She loves her brother. Or maybe she wants to be in the bed. Oh, he's feeling better now that he's got his sister. Yeah. They love each other. <laughs> and they said it was fine to feed them, and it's past their dinner time. Oh, he wants water. I guess charcoal in your tummy makes you thirsty. Baron, we're gonna go see Santa tomorrow. Are you gonna tell Santa you've been bad? But you can tell Santa I already have my cold. Oh, Baron. So this is, this is what the bag originally looked like. And this is what it looks like now. He ate all of this. And that's all he left. Which is still a pretty significant amount, but when you consider, we, we weighed this to see how much was missing. It's a 12 ounce bag. We had three ounces left, so that means he made, he ate nine ounces. The boyfriend said even he couldn't eat that much. Pretty impressive, Baron, pretty impressive. Just don't do it again. Vincent is swinging. Hi, Vincent, are you swinging? Wee! Just came back in the door because uh, I went down to the office to pick up a package. I'm turning the lights on, by the way. They are back on, they were working the whole time. It's just that the outlets in the island here stopped working so we had that fixed and when I came back Roxy met me at the door but Baron didn't because poor little Baron he still feels bad so he's locked himself in his kennel he's laying there and feeling terrible poor Baron Roxy feels fine she feels fine she's like I didn't need any chocolate so I didn't have to go to the doctor so I'm gonna open this box that I got yesterday from Amazon, or earlier today, doesn't matter. And I know what's in here. Bowl wrap stuff. This is a catcher thing for my shower drain to catch all my hair. These are some lights that are battery operated and they have a little carabiner attached so you can hang them in your tent. These are gonna go as a white elephant gift for one of the family parties because a lot of our people are very outdoorsy. And this will also go in there. This is a tool. Look at that thing, that looks pretty serious. It has like 11 tools in one. So that'll go with the lights and then I got graham crackers and marshmallows and chocolate for s'mores and that'll all go in one gift box. I just wrapped this bottle of wine like this. I think that's pretty. It's the first time I've ever done it quite like that. I thought you might like to learn how because it was so, so simple. So all I did is I have this decorative tissue paper. It has the gold dots. That's usually a little bit more expensive than the regular white tissue paper. So I'm only gonna use one of these decorative pieces. And then I have two sheets of the white that I'll use. And rather than lining them up perfectly like that, what I wanna do is turn them so each one is moved about a third like that and then all you do is put the bottle of wine right in the middle then all you do is just gather the three pieces around it just like that 
and the top is still sticking out. That's all right. Can't really tell what the bottle is, and it's going to be obvious that it's a bottle of wine anyway. And then I just took any ribbon that I had, and I cut a really long piece of this one. This is like the ribbon that they put on balloons that you can curl the ends on. So I just took that and wrapped it around several times and then tied a very simple bow on it. And it came out looking so pretty. So I think I'm gonna do that with all the wine gifts. Guys, look what I just saw. Look, aw, she's in there taking care of her brother. Well, not anymore. You were taking care of your brother. You were cuddling with him and keeping him feeling good. You're so sweet. Let's see how Baron's doing. Baron, how you doing? Are you feeling any better? Baron, I was trying to talk to Baron. Trying. Baron, are you in there somewhere? Baron, you feeling any better, Bear? How we feeling there, guys? Roxy's just fine, apparently. Nothing wrong with her. How are you doing, Baron, besides getting slapped in the face with your sister's tail? How you doing? He looks good. Well, hello, Roxy. Hello. Hello, Roxy. You want to be on camera? You're a sweet girl. I love you. Ah, I'm going to fall over. Bear. Baron. Oh. Roxy hit the camera. Ah, help me. Someone help. I'm being attacked. I haven't finished wrapping everything, but I got a few things done. I got the wine bottles at least. Went a little crazy with the tissue paper. That's all right. That's why I save it. I recycle all my tissue paper so I can reuse it and then I can go crazy with it if I want to and then encourage people to recycle it after they open it. It's been quite a day. I'm going to bed now.